post our own track, Dave. In his area last <laughs> Ooh. Massive respect, man. Does look good. Friggin' ice skating. <laughs> Been black flag. Set up for drifting. <laughs> Rally car. <laughs> oh my god. Blow it up for me. Now back. So I said I wanted to go out with a bang. Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to the Accelerate Landau Takeover. We've done this a bit backwards because it's been a manic day. So it's actually the end of the day and as we see, we've had a few mishaps. Kenny and I rented Landau Circuit in Cowbridge, South Wales for the day. After being asked many times by subscribers to host our own track day, we took the plunge and booked it. We then invited our friends and subscribers to join us at this private event. We both thoroughly enjoy track days, but you never know who you're sharing the track with. We eliminated that mystery and finally fulfilled the dream of having a track to ourselves for the day and having some petrol and diesel, I got you Matt, don't worry, adrenaline fueled fun. <laughs> we were really hoping for some diversity when it came to the car lineup and that's exactly what we got. We had 20 cars ranging from dedicated track cars like Sam's throttle bodied Fiesta to cars that were thrown together the night before like Ben Z36. Okay, I'm exaggerating slightly because I'm so impressed that Ben got this car together in time. We have a brand new Aerial Atom 4 alongside a high vis inspired diesel Ibiza track car. That has to be a first. A 600 plus brake Focus RS running with two ballistic S2000s and enough MX5s to give you nightmares. Look, I won't run through the entire list, but trust me, it was an amazing lineup. And for those that let me jump in as a passenger, a genuine thank you. Before we get stuck in, I just want to say a massive thank you to the staff at Landau Circuit for conducting such a smooth operating day, particularly when we had some issues. There was smoke coming from the rear. Well spotted. Tom's just been black flagged. We will definitely be back. Anyway, let's hit the track. This is a big moment for those who follow us on uh, on the Facebook, on the Instagram or anything, you'll know. Well, you all know half of the stuff that Ben and Jess have gone through to get this car here today. I am still blown away that we can see this car in this setting. We've got a few issues we run through, but all teething problems. But now I finally get to go out on this thing. So happy. Yeah, let's go. For most people watching, they'll probably just think, ah, it's another E36 on track. This is such, oh, you feel really almost like emotional over it because of what Ben has been through to get this thing on track. And we should state this is set up for drifting. <laughs> Sketchy, so uh, fair play. <laughs> Me and fair Neil did it on Sunday with some string and some axle stands. <laughs> wow, old school. Like everything you've been through with it, it's just what a story, man. I just still can't believe that we are here now and you're ragging this thing around the track. I know, it's amazing. When what? In a matter of weeks ago, we didn't even have an engine. No. <laughs> So it turns out, if we worked out how long we spent on the car, yeah. it would be three weeks total work. And that's going from? That's going from no engine, gearbox, suspension, no front end, nothing, yes. And that's not including all the brakes, all the, all the little mods you've done. And yeah. That's off to you, man. <laughs> right, so next up is probably the one that everyone's been waiting for, and I can say I've definitely been waiting for. Yes, it's our turn. We are jumping in with Simon in his aerial atom. Now, I've been in this thing out on the street. And it was terrifying on the streets, but luckily he knows how to drive this thing. So, got my helmet, which I've got a feeling I'm going to need. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I'll just let the tyres come in for a lap. Yeah, of course. Cool. Do your thing. Fair play to you, man, honestly, for taking everyone out and having fun in it. I just, massive respect, man, honestly. You good? Okay? Yep.
that just tips it more, the higher gears you go in. Jeez. And look what it does it with ease. <laughs> oh my god. I would love to know the speeds we're hitting because this is ridiculous. Stable and I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be squirreling all over the place. Woo! So Simon's just put the AR1s on and I, oh my god, the front! And the front on you the corner, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is a race car! <laughs> so that, sitting in front of it, that's a quick car! This is going to be the difference between a quick car and an aerial atom. I mentally prepared myself. I was like, oh, this is going to be quick. This thing defies physics. This is incredible. <laughs> Woo. I've never had a rush like that. Gee. The fact that you get to do this rush anytime you want. Wow. <laughs> no, I just said to Simon, I mentally prepared myself for this thing to be quick. This thing defies physics, honestly. I've been in some fast things. I've driven race cars on a race track and it was, it was nothing like that. that woo. Luckily, we're all saying about the car is flat, like the way you pilot this thing. Honestly, your confidence throwing this thing around is absolutely unbelievable. Woo. We've had a few casualties already and, oh my God, this is what, the second session? So two 50 minute sessions in and that, is, that was a very good tire. So, uh, all right, fair play, dude. So here's another one that's been a long time in the making. So, massive thank you to Rob for finally, finally we get the chance to be together and for you to take me out. So this is Rob C2, I'm sure you guys all know it by now. This, I am very, very curious for. And now, granted, I've just come out of an area after, but don't worry, dude, I'm not gonna judge you too much. Do you know what, it's really random. It's mad how spacious it feels in here. Imagine. This is crazy. That sounds class. Five hundred brakes to have fun. No. <laughs> what is about one forty, one fifty? Is it? Yeah. So I said we're going through these bits. This is awesome. <laughs> See, so yeah, these tight pads is where it comes alive. And I love how well you know the car. <laughs> It does what you want it to. <laughs> That's insane. So I've just been out in an aerial atom on the limit, beyond the limit. Uh, then went out on a C2 rally car. I've just come back from being in this. I really wish I'd set the camera up because here's me foolishly thinking, ah, oh, this would be quite a tame one. Craig, uh, I, oh my God, I am lost for words how this car, this is Josh's MX-5, it's pretty much standard. He's got a set of coilovers on there. 
and some really old tires. Craig, the way you threw this thing around was absolutely mind-blowing. And this just goes to show if it's in the right hands. I mean, this is on old tires. Now, Craig's been racing for about 20 odd years. So granted, you know, I should have expected it. I'm gutted I didn't set the camera up. I just wanted to say a massive, massive, massive hats off. I did not know that these cars could do that even on those old tires. So what a day, man. What a day full of experiences. And unfortunately, it looks like Ben's. So Ben had a little bit of an issue. I did panic, I'm not gonna lie, because on the back straight, he was sort of holding traffic up. We thought the worst, but luckily it was just his exhaust had dropped. And look at him, didn't waste any time. Fair play to you, dude. Hello there. Jess, make sure you supervise him, man. <laughs> and another casualty, unfortunately. Sam only had about one session, I think, maybe two. I was really looking forward to going out on this thing. Throttle bodied Fiesta. And once again, this is a dedicated track car, so he knows how to drive it. Trying a few different things, we are hopeful, but fingers crossed. But I've only been out sort of twice because everyone wants to give me passenger rides, which I love doing. But I think uh, I'm gonna jump out. Tom's already out in his MX5, or he's gonna join us, and I think Kenny's coming as well. So let's get back out there, shall we? Uh, gotta be careful, my engine's still a bit cold because uh, I've been out on passenger rides, but this may feel a bit mundane compared to the, some of the cars I've just been in. But we'll get some heat in and we'll have some fun. These NS2Rs, I've had them on for a few sessions now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie when they're cold, it's like friggin' ice skating. And even when you get a bit of heat into them, they're not the best. I am driving them just to kill them off now, basically. I cannot wait to invest in some AR1s because this thing will be a completely different car then. Still good fun. Been black flagged, never been black flagged before. Uh, I don't think it was anything I was doing driving wise. I hope my car's okay. I think, I think I've left my bonnet unlatched. <laughs> Whoops. I think that's what it is. Fair play to the marshals for spotting that. I think that's what it is. I've just, as you met, well spotted. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, no, fair play to you guys. You're uh, doing your job well. <laughs> I know. Thank you, man. I was checking. I was smoking, smoking, though. Thank you very much. Fair play to the marshals. Like I said, I didn't. I should have clocked that, and I didn't. And they could have been idiots about it. Um, but no, very understanding. So fair play to them. They nailed that, doing their job. So we're back out. The bonnet is clipped down. So let's see what we can do. I think I got a bit of heat into the tires now. Everything is nice and warmed up. She is responding a lot better. I love how throwable these chassis are, even on these tyres, which I'm not a huge fan of. Today has just proved that you can have fun in anything and you don't need all the power in the world. See, I can brake really late. Now, a lot of people going through that chicane have told me, go straight over the kerb. I don't want to do that to my car, so I have to slow down there. Oh, I love how planted this thing feels. The one thing I cannot wait for is a limited slip diff. This open diff is so unpredictable. When you're going flat out, you get that one wheel spinning and unsettles the back and you really got to concentrate. It does encourage you to be a bit naughty, this car. And the un unpredictability kind of makes it a bit more fun. I can see Rob and the C2 behind me gaining on me. This is what track days are all about. I know, I've just come out of Rob's C2, I know his is going to be a lot more nimble through these. And I think my tyres are sort of giving up. This is where I might have him because I can power through. I am flat through here. Third gear. I think that's one of the only advantages I've got over him. Okay, we may not be able to overtake any today. We've got to overtake at least one Civic. Yes, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> Thank you very much, dude! Don't worry guys, when we're turboed, we'll be back and we'll be taking on everyone. But for now, we are just gonna get in people's way. Well, to gotta be white. I can't multitask. <sighs> that 
good session, but this is just, the more I drive this thing, the more I'm thinking it is crying off for a diff and it's crying off for better tyres. I feel like I haven't seen you all day. No, no, haven't. Ah, good, good. Uh-oh. -huh. Uh oh, no. God, today's really killing cars off, isn't it? Ooh. Now, Tom's caught me on a really good day. I don't think anyone else has driven my car apart from Kenny. So... Now that I've seen how you drive, know you know how to handle an MX-5, I want to see, mainly, Tom knows a lot about MX-5s, him and his dad know all about setups and stuff. To me, it feels a bit soft, I think it could benefit from stiffening up, I just want to get Tom's opinion. And to be honest, I've never seen my car driving really since it's been painted, so I'm looking forward to this, so have fun, dude. Will do. I appreciate this massively. <laughs> it's always weird seeing your own car drive away from you. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute! Yeah, it does look good. It does look good. Go and chase my MX-5! This is so weird. I feel nervous for some reason. It's only because I've seen how Tom drives. I know he'll look after it. Maybe it doesn't come then, bro! Yeah! Actually, yeah, Tom, blow it up for me. Blow it up for me. Blow it up for me. That's so weird. It looks cool as hell. I love it. Go on, Tom. Give us some stick. Oh, go on, Ben. That sounds amazing. Yes. <laughs> Probably should have told him the brakes you've got to get on hard. Everything with that car, you've got to absolutely fight in the show to his boss. I probably should have told him that. <laughs> Away. Um, so Tom's just been black flagged. Maybe it's an MX-5 thing. Tom's just been black flagged in my car. It was a bit scary. There was smoke coming from the That's rear. Six tents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Tom. <laughs> um, there was smoke coming from the rear. Like I thought it was the tires, but like I already said, it's probably the rear brakes. Yeah. They don't need EBC Ultimax pads or something. I've been all out on the fronts, but not the rears. Yeah, the so that may be what it is. Yeah, it was bellowing out. Really? I didn't yeah. see it. That's right, pack it up, we'll have a look. Well, we did say today, we've had a few casualties. I am now greeted with this. That is not where you want your temperature gauge to be. Oh, it is coming down. Uh, obviously, Ben was explaining, this rad is very cool. That is very hot. We have got bits of fluid on the floor. Um, there is nothing in there at all. Oh no. That is not good. I can delete it. Yeah, water maybe? Water? Yeah, sorry, just fill that up with water and we'll pull that in there. I got um, five liters of water, yeah? Yeah, can we have our Ken? Oh no. 20 quid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not joking either. Capitalize! Well, let's catch up. Um, Kenny's slave cylinder started leaking, so yeah, you cut your day early. Yeah, half past three ish, so not too bad. I had a yeah. good, good day anyway, yeah. so hey ho. I mean, it could be where, I mean, I do feel bad for Sam, you only had the one or two sessions. Yeah, we got Sam and um, Reese with the Civic Type R, his diff's gone. His diff, is it? Yeah, it's his diff. Honestly, today, we managed the last time, we managed the whole day, uh, me and Kenny, battering the cars all day and they were absolutely fine. <laughs> so I'm glad, we, it glad we got friends. Yeah, yeah. The joys of both of it. Amen. Right, I want to clarify something. I let Tom use my car and I told him, obviously, just have fun with it. Blow it up for me. And he said he was only going to drive his seven times, which he did. And I've been out with you. I trust you. Hi, so yeah. before anyone says anything, we, uh, Ben's just figured out, well, Ben and Tom have figured out the problem. And that's another thing, fair play, you didn't just run away. No. It broke the car, but it could have happened to me. It would have happened to me because what it looks like is... Uh, obviously you're not going to see it, but there's a coolant hose just by there, so thank you so much, dude, for tracking it down and figuring it out. Sorry, dude. We may, may be lucky to trim the hose and, and put it back on, but it's one of those, honestly, it, it, it would have happened I to feel, me. I feel so bad, the last hour of the car, and I've, uh, yeah. I've injured it. This is kind of, I, so. I jinxed this, I don't want it to go out with a bang. So, uh, you nearly did. If you'd gone another two laps, it would have blown the head gasket off. Yeah, I, I hope so. it hasn't got too hot, but... The, the temperature just was pinned, so... When I turn, when I come in, I've just seen it when I come in. So. Oh no! Wish I checked it a bit earlier. Oh no! <sighs> what a day! 
insane in it doing the support and everything we get off the guys we just want to thank them all as well for turning up and making today what it was yeah so first of all obviously the people on track the people who participated obviously a massive thank you to those everyone behaved there were a few black flags but it wasn't because people were driving like idiots all the flags that were put out everyone reacted in the right way everyone was good as gold yeah yeah this is it and i'm sorry i wasn't in the video a bit more i have been very very busy with everyone today trying to sort everything out with the, the guys in the offices and everything yeah. so yeah busy playing while i'm working basically but yeah, hey ho yeah, yeah. playing busy <laughs> yeah i was gonna say been in everyone's car you got i know like a tooth. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> i still got half a tank yeah exactly but I just want to let people know because we've had so many people sir, asking we are definitely going to be doing another one 100 percent. well actually i'm going to go back over the next week or so i'm going to be pricing up coom we're going to be looking for 30 cars so if you're Ooh. interested give me a shout there we are so okay i will give it yeah it's been busy today i've been busy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're definitely doing one um stay in touch uh, well, keep on the facebook group's probably the best yes. one yeah. we'll put all the details on there but everyone's packed up now so thank you yeah. so much for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one there was a few booms <laughs> <laughs> ah mine was one of them yeah.